17th century, there was a doctor talking about laughter as medicine. And here we are hundreds of years later, and nothing's really changed. Everybody knows Dr. Roizen and Dr. Oz, right? They're on Oprah all the time. They got the books, Real You and Real Age, and the website. You can actually calculate the aging of, they did the, you can calculate the aging effect of all these different health behaviors. Well, they determined that laughter can help us feel up to eight years younger, and consequently live up to eight years longer. And I think those are some impressive numbers. And some other numbers I came upon. At 10 weeks of age is when we all first laughed, give or take a week. or That's when babies first laughed. At 16 weeks of age, it was about once an hour. It was catching on. We liked it. As three-year-olds, it was every few minutes, about 15 times an hour. And as preschoolers, they say some of us laughed up to 400 times a day. You know what it is for adults? Two, did you say? <laughs> Where do you live and work? That's, uh, <laughs> that's a little low, but... Uh, <laughs> and not too far off. It's about 10 a day for adults, you know? Uh, so 400 to 10. The kids have us beat on, on laughs. Uh, and, and it doesn't need to be that way. You know, the, the, the great author, Aldous Huxley, he wrote, the, the, the secret of genius is to carry the spirit of childhood into adulthood. Another brilliant writer and poet and philosopher, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> Got some parrot heads here, yeah? Uh, we're in Florida, it's the place for it. He's made a career out of this philosophy, right? I'm growing older, but not up is one of his songs. And of course, the famous line, if we couldn't laugh, we would all go insane, right? But I think it was George Burns who said it best. George Burns said, you don't stop laughing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop laughing. Of course, he's dead. So you got to take that with a grain of salt. But no, give me a break. He lived to 100, right? Didn't he? 101, is he? 102? Is he still going? <laughs> He's dead, right? Isn't he dead? I wonder, so, you ever do that where are they now game? You ever play that game, the where are they now game? With the, I've learned some good trivia recently, so we'll do a quick digression, quick round of where are they now. Because uh, uh, do you remember the Dunkin' Donuts ads with uh, Michael Vale was the name of the actor who played little sleepy Fred the Baker, time to make the donuts. You remember that? You know where he is now? Dead, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Grease fire, apparently, so kind of ironic. Um, <laughs> Everybody remembers from the Wendy's commercials, little Clara Peller. Remember her? Who did, uh, where's the beef? You remember? You know where she is now? Dead. That's right. <laughs> Malnutrition. So again, a cruel twist to that tale. Uh, there was another little old lady. She got famous on ads as well. Mrs. Fletcher is the woman who said, I've fallen and I can't get up. You remember? You know where she is now? No, she got up. She's... <laughs> She's fine. Go for it. The device works perfectly. So, um, <laughs> we took my grandfather out recently in Denver for his 102nd birthday. Uh, we went to one of these uh, uh, fancy steakhouses in downtown Denver. I don't know if they do this where you live, but uh, they give you a percentage off the entree equal to your age. <laughs> You know, this little birthday gimmick. So, you know, you turn 60, you get 60% off your dinner. So they brought the bill. We said, hey, he's 102. You owe him a free porterhouse and 68 cents. <laughs> and they would not do it. They, would not, they said he was not eligible because he was in an urn. And so the whole thing was just... Uh, Yeah, folks, he died in 87, but we still like to make a, an evening of it, celebrate the day. And that joke bombed at the nursing home last week. I'm so glad that I knew it would work better here because you're a sick, twisted group. And
I had a patient uh, not long ago who came in who was lamenting growing old. He did not share the same philosophy as George Burns and, and Jimmy Buffett and so forth. And, and, and he, he turned 80, a retired accountant, turned 80, came in for his physical. He said, I tell you, Doc, it's no picnic growing old. It's no picnic growing old at all. I tell, there are four things you lose as you grow old. I, I was thinking last night, four things you lose. Hey, you sit down and listen to me for a change, you whippersnapper, Doogie Hauser. You, I got ties older than you, kid, all right? You listen to me from wisdom, my experience here. I'm going to tell you the four things you lose as you grow old. You ready? You lose your hair, you lose your sex drive, and you lose your ability to do math. Those are the four things you lose. He was right, so I gave him some Rogaine, some Viagra, and a calculator. <laughs> and now he does your taxes in 10 minutes and his hair sticks straight up for four hours. It's really, it's really weird. Yeah, with Cialis, it was unmanageable for days. I mean, it was a mess. So anyway, that, that's my first point here, is that laughter, it can keep us young, folks. It can slow the aging process. I'm actually 77, so there you go. <laughs> Exhibit A, right there. But uh, 